In this video, I would like to talk about font formatting basics in PowerPoint. Each design theme uses a font theme. The font theme is defined by two font families. One for headers, that is titles on slides, and one for body text. And in the case of the ION theme that we've chosen for our workshop presentation, both of the header and the body font are Century Gothic. In fact, all of the design themes that come built into PowerPoint 2013 use the same font family for headers and body text. Uh, that was not true of PowerPoint 2010. They generally used different fonts for the header and the body text. Uh, and usually one of them was a serif font and one, one was a sans serif font, that is, fonts that have decorations on them. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. But the first thing I'd like to talk about is uh, sizing the fonts that are by default used on your slides and then changing the font families. Uh, if we want to do something that will affect our entire presentation, we need to do it on our slide master view. So let's go there. Let's click on the View tab and choose Slide Master. We'll scroll all the way to the top and click on the Slide Master itself. Remember the large uh, thumbnail at the top of the Slide Master view is the Slide Master, and all of the smaller thumbnails underneath it are Layout Masters. Okay, so we want to go to the Slide Master, and here's our heading font and font size on the Slide Master. And the first thing I'd like to do is show you the font theme drop-down. Okay, if I wanted to change my font, let me resize this so you can see a little more of my slide and a little less of this drop-down here, this gallery. Um, there's the office theme that comes with Calibri as the font and so on. We'll run down here and here's the Century Gothic one that we're using now in our Ion theme. Let me scroll further down and you can see all of these use the same heading and body text font styles. But starting right about here, we see there's a difference. And these are the older style ones from uh, PowerPoint 2010. Uh, this one uses Arial for the header style and Times New Roman for the body style. And there's a few um, notable ones. Here's uh, 20th Century uh, MT for header style and Rockwell for body. You see they use a, sa a sans serif font for heading and serif font for body. And they reverse that on some of these too. Here's a Times New Roman for heading. You can see the preview changing in the background here as I hover over these. Um, and Ariel for the body uh, font. So these are generally not preferred anymore. There's a a lot of nonsense about fonts going around. To me, the importance of fonts is their legibility. That is, do they, are they large enough to read from the back of the room you're presenting in? Do they provide good contrast with the background color of the slide? And those are the things that matter. In PowerPoint, we want to avoid a lot of wordiness. Uh, so we want to just put a few words on our slides, if we use words at all and we want them to be large and legible. So that's what I want to do in this little uh, video. I'm going to increase my font sizes. I'm going to click on the title uh, slide, go to the Home tab, and show you that Century Gothic 42 point is the default heading uh, style. But I'd like to up that, and I'm right-clicking now, to 54 point. Okay, now don't worry about the way this title wraps around in this placeholder. Um, we're not going to make any titles that are that long. As I say in PowerPoint, wordiness is not a virtue. And on our bulleted items, that is the body text in placeholders, I'm going to right click and show you that it's set for 20 point. I want to up that to 40 point. And then my second level, I would like to up to 36 point. And there's a third, fourth, and fifth level here. Those uh, I don't think should ever be used on a PowerPoint slide. So I'm not going to bother with those. You can uh, go down the ladder, though, and change the sizes if you do have text like that. Um, let me go back to my normal view now by clicking the normal view short shortcut. 
and there's our new font size. As you see when I click in the title and look up in my font command group on the home tab, uh, it's at 54 point. When I click on my bulleted items, they're at 40 point. Okay, now text in text boxes is different than text in placeholders. And here's a quote from Kofi Annan, and it's in a text box. The default text box font size uh, with my theme is Century Gothic 18 point. Much too small for a slide like this. You couldn't read this from the first row probably in my presentation. So I want to change that font size and bring it up to at least 48, but I'm thinking 54 would be more appropriate. You see, legibility is the important point. Now, if you have multiple text boxes in your presentation, there is no single control, no easy way of controlling the font size um, for every text box in your presentation. I think the theory is that text boxes can be anything. And so Microsoft didn't provide us a way to conveniently change the font size in every text box. But they did provide us a way of creating a default text box size. 54 point is what I've chosen here. And if I want to make this my default text box font size, I can right click and come down and set as default text box. And now if I were to create a new slide, let's go ahead and just make a blank slide here, and use the text box shortcut and click on it, it will be in 54 point size, as you can see up here, and uh, instead of the 18 point, which it would be. So that's a little clue that will help you with your PowerPoint. Also, if I have a drawn shape, let me draw a rounded corner rectangle here and type a label on it. I think this label is much too small, but I can select the text, make it also, let's say, 54 point, and then select the object itself and set as the default shape. The nomenclature here is a little confusing, but what I've just done is set 54 point to be the default text size on a drawn object. So even if I draw a circle now, or a rough circle, I can type something and it will be 54 point rather than the 18 point default. Okay, those are some real basic uh, tips on font formatting in PowerPoint. <laughs>